It's an eyesore in neighborhoods, boarded up homes, not the most welcoming thing to come across, but an artist in Omaha is changing that. Justin Bezerra sat down with him today and joins us with this story. This is such a cool idea to change the look of an area. I know, and it really kind of makes me sad that I can't paint like this guy <laughs> sure. because he's, he's so talented. Artist uh, Wadi White started months ago working on this project. Now he took two dilapidated homes at 14th and Emmett and he turned them into a public art installation. Now boarded up windows are now something to look through again, only this time you'll see a much different view. Behind a damaged chain link fence stands two homes side by side. Both are condemned. Weeds have taken over the yards. But if you look closely, you'll get a glimpse into the past. It's history artist Wadi White wants to tell. For me, they just seemed incredibly compelling object. You know, a boarded up window just seems to say there's a story here and I'm not telling you what it, what it is. So White set out to tell those stories. A little girl up in the window it's from a very tiny photograph that we found. Interviewing neighbors about who lived in these homes, what happened, what went right, and what went wrong. The people who lived in these houses had the same struggles as me or as, any, as anyone else. And they're very vital and they're very beautiful kind of stories to see them tell and to see them act out. Every window in both homes filled with art. On the left side, you have Officer Molly Hyatt. And All painted by White. And she's actually stopped by a few times. They're just quick snapshots of history, characters from the past, neighbors who've lived on this block, living it out again through 51 pictures. If you notice, there's no vandalism. After two weeks, the stories are still clear. If your picture is in that window, that building belongs to you in some way. You are responsible for it, and you're responsible to your neighborhood in a way that's slightly different than it was before your picture went up. The homes are owned by Habitat for Humanity. Eventually, they'll be demolished, but it's the stories that will live on, even after new homes are built and new memories are made. White believes it's just his way of making a difference in a neighborhood. It's small shifts that uh, I think make any sort of impact over a long period of time.